Okay, I'm doing something so exciting today. As you can tell by the smile on my face and the title. A lot of you guys have been asking me to do this and of course I was going to do this. I am going to be trying out, reviewing, and swatching Glossier Skywash eyeshadows. These just launched a couple days ago. I have not used them yet, but I did swatch these. They all look so stunningly beautiful. I'm so excited for this launch. You have no idea. I was just talking to someone about how I'm like, Glossier needs to launch something else right now because I get really excited for their launches. I love when they do something big like this where they release like a whole line of something, like a bunch of colors and different things to try. All of these colors are gorgeous. These are a matte liquid eyeshadow. So from what I understand, they go on as a cream and then they dry down to like a powdery, sheer-ish finish. Um, I got a lot of people DMing me on Instagram asking me when I was going to do this. Of course, anytime something Glossier comes out with something new, of course I'm going to do it. So first color is called Pebble and this is like a pretty mauve-y... I don't know why I said mauve because I don't live in the UK. I say mauve. Either way, this is like a taupey mauve shade. Um, looks very subtle. So I can see that being like a really pretty everyday color. The next shade is called Palm. And this shade looks really pretty as well. This is like a light tan color, I guess I would describe it as. It's very warm, um, but it's not super dark. Would be really pretty all over the lid as by itself or as like a transition color. This one is called Valley and this one is like a very pale peachy kind of corally color. This one is the kind of colors that I tend to gravitate towards like the warmy peach and like light browns. This one is called Terra and as the name suggests it's more of like a terracotta reddish brown color which is really pretty. I can see myself wearing this one a lot. This is the darkest one they have. This is called Echo. And this is like a deep dark brown. So if you're fair skin, this would be like a nice um, kind of neutral smoky eye. If you have darker skin, this might be like a really pretty natural color. And then these two that I'm most excited about are like the two fun colors of the bunch. Um, this one is called Pool and it's like a very pretty pale sky blue and a really nice pale sky blue eyeshadow is kind of hard to come by. I think this one is gorgeous, especially with these two. If you have a deeper skin tone, these would just like really pop on your skin and I think would look amazing. And then this one, which I'm going to use today because I think it's the most interesting and I'm the most excited about. This one is called Lawn and it's like a avocado green color and I don't have any eyeshadows that look like this so I'm dying to use it. With that being said, let's get right into it. So I am a Glossier rep as are a lot of people on YouTube but I do want to mention that that's not going to sway my opinion one way or the other. I I'm not getting paid for this video, but I do make a small commission if you were to shop through my link. You'd also get 10% off, so it's a win-win. Um, so that will be in the description if you're interested. If not, no worries. Um, it's there if you'd like to support. If not, that's totally fine also. Okay, so something I'm going to do that I haven't done in a long time is I'm going to use um, Glossier Stretch Concealer, but I'm going to use it as a foundation. That's because I was just taking a trip down memory lane. Uh, the other night and was like watching some of my old videos. Um, I don't know why because I felt like torturing myself maybe. Um, I don't recommend doing that. It's very horrifying. Um, but either way, I was kind of more interested in like seeing how I used to do my makeup and like different products because you know we're always like changing and trying new things. And um, I used to be obsessed with using the stretch concealer as a foundation. And I know it, like if you've never used this concealer that might sound crazy to use a concealer as a foundation but this is like designed to be like very sheer and natural and it does make the most gorgeous foundation like it it's very dewy and hydrating it doesn't break me out at all like you can really sheer this out and then you can go in which is what I'm gonna do like under the eyes and like tap on more product for a bit more coverage but in my opinion it's just a very like multi-purpose product and sometimes it's nice to just go back to the old classics Okay, now I'm just going to take it with my finger and just tap it under the eye to get more coverage under there. My allergies have been killing me lately. 
like waking me up in the middle of the night with like a scratchy throat and everything and so like my dark circles are off the charts but i love this concealer it's not the the most full coverage at all like it's pretty sheer but i love how dewy it is and how natural it looks under the eyes you just like can't go wrong okay now i'm gonna go in with my boy brow i need another one i think i have one i usually always have a backup but i'm just gonna brush through the brow here so i always brush it through the opposite like against the way the hair grows and then brush it up just makes them like fluffier I'm doing my makeup so fast because I just want to get to the good stuff. I'm so excited. I actually got these like two days ago, but I wasn't able to film until today. So it's been killing me, like not being able to put to play with them. Okay, so now I zoomed way in. I'm going to go back later and do like blush and bronzer and stuff. I want to see how this goes first. So I'm going to use Lawn. And, uh, sorry. And I'm not going to do a primer or anything because since they're cream to powder, I'm hoping that you don't need a primer. So I kind of want to test how they wear without a primer. So it has a doe foot applicator. And from what I understand, I believe these like are a sheer wash of color. But how sheer is the question. Um, so I'm just going to put this like all over my lid. This color is so pretty. So the way they say to wear it is to do this and then tap it with your finger. And then I think you can build up the product. So like this looks pretty sheer, but I think it's still going to be really pretty. <laughs> I love it. Let's do it on the other eye. And I think I want to build it up and just to see how much we can build it. And it looks like it's creasing a tiny bit. So maybe these would be better um, with a primer. If you have oily lids. Like I have really oily lids. So a lot of cream shadows crease on me. But um, it's not too bad. But it looks like it dries pretty quick. So I would do like one eye at a time if you want to blend it. These are definitely different if people are going to ask um, how these are different from the lid stars. The lid stars feel like a different texture. Like they're more... <sighs> I don't know how to explain it. Like the lid stars feel like a liquid paint almost. Like they're a lot thicker um, and they're also like shimmery. So to me, they look like more of like a glow. These are all matte. Let me grab um, a lid star and try and compare. So yeah, these just feel like these glide a lot more. Like they feel like more wet and they're all like shimmery. So this is kind of like a shimmery, like glossy. They do dry down though, but they dry down less like a powdery and more like a dried paint almost and then here's like the sky wash which I mean you can just see like they're both a cream shadow but they're just so different I don't know how else to explain but okay I'm gonna go in with another layer of the green and really like see how much we can build this up whoa okay i was not expecting that honestly i thought it would be harder to build up but ugh, focus on me please but look at that so here's the sheer one coat two i can't wait to play with the more neutral shades i really wanted to use them but i thought this would be more fun for you guys i think to do like because i feel like a lot of people were wondering like what this one would look like at least I was it's like we all know what a brown eyeshadow looks like on the lid you know what I mean like this is what we want we want the green I feel like I want to take it under the eye just like the tiniest bit like like in a sheer way and just like smudge it out
I'm gonna take a brush and blend it this time. Okay, so this is lawn. Oh my god. I love it. Oh my god, the freaking sun. It's so hard to film with natural light sometimes. Okay, now I'm gonna pop on my lash slick. I'm gonna do it. I don't always do mascara on the bottom lashes, but I'm going to this time because I feel like it'll look really good with the green. This mascara has really ruined me for any other mascara because it's so easy. Like whenever I use regular mascara now, I just hate taking it off. Like this just comes off with warm water. I love it. Oh my God, so pretty with the mascara. I feel like a cool, funky girl. <laughs> what? I have like no forehead, you guys. I'm always jealous of people that like bronze and contour around their forehead because it always looks so good, but I honestly like, I can't even, I would still try, but like it's just basically, I'm just putting it all over my forehead because I don't have an edge of my forehead. Like it's like two inches long. I know we always want what we don't have, but. I want a bigger forehead. Maybe I just have to wait till my hairline recedes. Uh. For blush, I'm gonna use Cloud Paint and Beam. Look at how disgusting my cloud paints are. I'm obsessed with these and they look really gross. Um, this is in the shade Beam, did I already say that? It's like a peachy. I think it'll look good with this. A little too much. Okay, for the lips, I want to keep it simple because there's a lot going on with the eyes. So I'm going to use this gloss by Kosas. And it's their wet lip oil in the shade Jellyfish. And it's just like a clear gloss slash lip oil. Um, okay, what do we think? I'm thinking, um, I'm obsessed with it. Let me know if you want me to use these other colors in, like, upcoming videos. Um, I'm really impressed so far. Glossier very rarely disappoints, at least to me. Um, I love so many of their products. But not all of them, you know, meet our needs. But, yeah, I'm obsessed. I feel like it looks really good with this shirt, too. Look at all these colors. I'm like, instead of just standing up, I'm just gonna take my shirt up and show you. I love it, I'm so excited I got to finally play with these. But thanks guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know in the comments what you think if you're gonna try Skywash or if you've already tried it, let me know your thoughts. And I'll see you in my next video.